Yesterday, I uploaded a video showing you how to add an image inside text. Clean, simple and super practical, right? Well, today I'm taking it a step further. In this video, I'll show you how to do the same thing, but with videos. That's right. Adding a video inside your text for an eye catching and dynamic effect. Plus, you can use the same code that we used in that video or the one we'll be using here interchangeably. But that's not all. I'll also walk you through recreating this beautiful design inspired by Apple's page, where the Mac displays videos like this and this. It's sleek, it's modern, and trust me, it's easier than you think. We'll use Elementor for the design and just a touch of custom code to pull it all together. Okay, so I've got a page open up here and I want to create a simple video inside text headline here. To do that, we need to add a container that holds our video background. So let's do that quickly by clicking here. I'll set it to full width and change the height to 100VH or viewport height. This means the container will cover the entire screen of any device it's displayed on. I'll remove the gaps from here and go to the style tab to add the background video. Just click here and paste the link to your video. I'll use one from my media library and paste the link here. All right, the video is playing. Let's go to the advanced tab and set the margins and the padding. This ensures our container covers the screen edge to edge. Now we need to cover this video with a white layer. To do that, I'll use two different containers with a white background color. So let's add a container here and set it to full width. I'll also change the height to 50VH, change the background color to white, go to advanced and set the padding to zero. Once that's done, let's duplicate this container from here. Now let's add the heading to which we want to add the video. I'll quickly go here, add the heading widget in the top container and change the text to marine. All you have to do now is to style it according to your page. I'll just change the text color to black from here and set the font to Poppins. You can also change the size, text spacing and more from here. I'll just make these changes, go to the advanced tab and change the padding to this. All right, our heading is ready. All we need to do is finalize the design first. Let's select the second container and from the left, add a text editor widget here. I'll change the default text to this, set the color to black and the size to this. Now all we need to do is add a CTA button here. So let's do that quickly. I'll go to the left, add the widget from the left panel, change the text and color to this. Finally, we will just use a small piece of CSS code to mask the text and make the video show up inside the text. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. So select this top container, go to advanced, scroll down to CSS code and paste the code here. And you can get the code from the description below. As you can see, the video is playing inside the text here. All right, let's add some entrance animation to the text. So select the text, go to advanced and choose this motion effects tab. Now select the entrance animation as fade in down and change the speed to slow. Let's save and publish the page. And as you can see, it's working perfectly, but that's not all. I'll also show you how you can set up a video playing inside objects using the Apple web page example I showed you earlier. First, we're going to add a container. I'll set it to full width and change the height. So let's go over to the style tab and pick a nice background color. Let's go to the advanced tab and set the margins and the padding. Now let's add a heading, something attention grabbing right within the container. Let's style it from the left panel and adjust the font, size 
and color to make it pop. Next, we'll add another container below this heading. So set it to full width and give it a minimum height of 100 VH to stretch across the screen. All right, now I'll go to the style tab, change containers color to this, then move to advanced tab to change padding to this. Okay, now we will add an image which will act as an object and inside it, we will put our video. Once my image is imported, I'll go to the advanced tab, scroll down to Z index and set it to two. Next, we will add a container for the video and set it to full width. Give it a 38% content width, remove padding and set a lower than index so it feels just right. Finally, let's add a new video here, setting the source to self-hosted. I'll use one from my media library like this. Finally, enable autoplay, mute it and set it to loop. Make sure to hide the player controls, turn off the mobile player and change the position to absolute and make sure to change the offset from here and to add slight rotation, go to the transform settings, click on rotate and set it to about 12 degrees. So it has that natural tilt of the display. And there we go. Let's preview the page. And you can see all the videos playing without issues across the Apple page. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.